We're all about helping our customers through a tough financial time in their lives with education and individual customer service. We're dedicated to helping individuals and families rid their lives of burdensome debt. Specializing in debt settlement, and they've also negotiated settlements for thousands of creditor and collection accounts. Providing clients with both expertise and proven results, this means helping customers in time of hardship to get out of debt with the least possible cost. It can also mean conducting financial consultations, educating the customer, and recommending the appropriate solution. Core services offer debt settlement as an alternative, I repeat, alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, and debt consolidation. National Debt Relief is your number one advocate group to help you reestablish financial stability as quickly as possible. So give us a call at 844-828-4975. Again, that's 844-828-4975 and work it out. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Man Talk Monday. What up, Stewies? What do I get into this weekend? Um, Friday night. Uh, went to a high school football game. One of my chapter brothers, his son, played in his last high school football game Friday night. If you're from... Uh, if you're from Metro Atlanta, man, I went to uh, the Peachtree Ridge game versus uh, Peachtree Ridge versus Roswell. When I tell you Roswell got four or five NFL players on their team right now, <laughs> God damn! Right now, I mean Roswell. I think they were ranked number two in the state, and you know in Georgia they got seven A. Um, I saw it for myself, man. From what I understand, they're doing a lot of shady stuff around there, recruiting players. They got, like, re uh, different quarterbacks that they recruit in every year from different parts of Atlanta, Metro Atlanta, or whatever. And it's paying off because Roswell, I think they're the Hornets, I believe so. And, uh, man, they got a squad on them. It's going to be tough to beat them. Um, so did that Friday night. Saturday pretty much did nothing. Baby girl. Her season is over. Shouts out to the McEachin Indians, seventh grade team. They won the championship last weekend. Right. So, schedule was pretty free on Saturday. Baby girl didn't have to cheer. She didn't have ch uh, track practice or anything like that. Uh, so, she's just chilling. So, she gets this past week to chill. She gets this coming week to chill, this week right here, because of Thanksgiving. They're out of school. And next week, she's back on the grind again with track practice. Winter conditioning. <laughs> yeah. So, all in all, man, I watched a ton of college football Saturday, man. I uh, watched a ton of football yesterday. Uh, just chilled out, man, and didn't do too much of anything, man. Yeah. What about y'all? Ball award to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As they get a win over the Kansas City Chiefs in 19-17. Ball award to Jameis Winston, the quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 24 for 39. 331 yards in the air. One touchdown and no interceptions. Ball award to Jameis. Getting it done. It was the Bucs' fifth straight win over Kansas City. I talked about this last week Friday. It was the Bucks' fifth straight win over Kansas City dating back to 1993, and it snapped the home winning streak for the Chiefs that dated to a loss uh, to Chicago on October 11th, 2015. All right, so last year. So a uh, ball award to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. If you, if, if you haven't heard, word on the street is that Charlie Strong is going to be out as head coach of the Texas Longhorns. I kind of want to give a ball award or a bust award to the Texas Longhorns. I kind of want to give a bust award to Charlie Strong um, as well. And the reason I say that is because I'm giving a bust award to Texas for 
you know, firing this guy. And I don't think it's actually official yet that they're going to fire him. But the cupboard was so bare after Mac Brown left. Um, it was really tough for him to get things going there. I understand them actually firing him, you know, getting him out of there. Strong is 16 and 20 overall and 12 and 14 in the Big 12 and three seasons with the Longhorns. That's just not going to cut it at Texas. Texas is one of those programs where they expect to win national championships, whether that's, you know, pie in the sky, whether that's, you know, just over-enthusiastic fans or whatever it is. That's what it is. They expect to win national championships. So it's like Texas, it's like Alabama, uh, maybe you could put Michigan in that, USC. They feel like they should win national championships. I don't have a problem with that at all. I feel like, and I've said this many times before, in this part of the country, in the South, man, you know, we we, we let Atlanta Braves phenomenons happen. Where they're okay, but they're not really in contention for a championship. And we okay with it. Some of these college football programs, man, they want their team to win a championship every year. And if they don't, then somebody had got to get chopped off. Kind of like, you know, uh, sports fans are in the Northeast. You know, if the team is bad, the fans let you know it. And Texas is kind of like that. Once again, uh, Strong will be owed $10.7 million, though, in this buyout for the remaining two years of his contract. So he's good. He's good. Or if he gets another job somewhere else, um, then they don't have to pay him. But what's that, about $5 million a year? To sit around and vacation for two years for $5 million each? I mean, that's a good damn proposition if I'm Charlie Strong. And he can get a job. He can definitely get a job, I believe. I think that college football people in the know could look at what happened there. First of all, Texas didn't even want this guy. You remember, he was probably like the third or fourth option when he got that job. Texas really didn't want the guy. Charlie Strong has proven that he can coach and being a defensive coordinator in the SEC for a long time, can recruit the, the, the hell out of the state of Florida. That's what a lot of conversation is about, too, uh, for Charlie Strong, is that the Texas alumni wanted him specifically recruiting in the state of Texas, which he can do and he's done and they've got some elite players, but that wasn't his forte. He wanted to go – to his further recruiting ground in the state of Florida and the alumni and the administration was on his back about getting those Texas kids. And that didn't work out. If you look at what he was doing at Louisville when he was the head coach, man, half of that damn roster was from Florida. So it was a bad setup from day one. Um, Strong didn't get it done, and Texas wants a new man, and they're looking like they're going to part ways. The decision is part of – Ways with Strong became inevitable Saturday night after the Texas Longhorns lost to Kansas 24-21. to Saturday the weekend. Texas hadn't lost to Kansas since 1938. You know your ass is getting fired. That's crazy. You ain't lost to a team in 80 years. Now, I don't know if they were in the same conference the entire time or how many times they actually played each other between that 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 time period but yeah the, the writing was on the wall after you lose to the Kansas freaking Jayhawks you can't lose to a bunch of uh basketball ninjas so Buster award to uh to Charles Charlie Strong as well to the Texas Longhorns man I think both play a part in this man um on the decision that's going to be made they're saying there at Texas from Sluggo and X Squad. He says, I agree with Doug. Nobody's running through the NFC unscathed. Otherwise, just put the house on the Cowboys now. Hell, just cancel the season. Nah, I don't I don't think so, bro. It just doesn't work like that. There's like and you're listening to the Doug Short Show, there's uh sports axioms, you know, and that that are just thrown around um in football. You know, the games are won in the trenches. Uh championships are won by defense. And rookies at some point are going to be rookies. It's as simple as that. From Grego in the chat room on Spreaker.com, everyone knows that Ninja's a Cowboy fan. He was a Browns fan when RG3 started. (laughs) Oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. Maybe that's what it was. Uh, That Ninja in the chat room on Spreaker.com, I said in the last segment, I didn't realize he was a Cowboys fan. Yeah, 
he he's such a fan of RG three that he was a a, a a a Cleveland Browns fan for the half a half a game that RG three played earlier this year. <laughs> From Ducking and Dodging, by the way, they're saying that he's healthy and he may play this year. Ducking and Dodging says Kansas is probably the worst FBS football program in the country. Wow. It's been a lot of bad programs, man. If I had to group together the worst, consistently worst programs, college football programs in my life, um, I would put Kansas, I would put Vanderbilt, I would put Duke, and here's the thing about it. Duke and Vanderbilt have had some, you know, not horrible, horrible years. Um, Kansas may have had one decent year where they won maybe seven games in the past, I don't know, 40 years that I've been on this earth. Uh, Rutgers. Rutgers even had a good year a couple of years ago with Greg Schiano. Like, traditionally, those were the bad programs that immediately come to mind. Duke, which they're a basketball school, so they really don't care. Vanderbilt. Rutgers, and, yeah, probably the Kansas Jayhawks. From RC, a big win for my Vikings over Arizona. The defense and special team stepped up. Big win for the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Vikings' first win out of their last five games. They do get a win on yesterday over the Arizona Cardinals. I said it earlier at the top of today's show. Falcons take on the Cardinals this weekend, so we're definitely getting ready for that. Hadn't had football around here in a couple of weeks from Dobby. Speaking of RG3, if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, uh, the show is broadcast here in uh, ATL. From Dobby, speaking of RG3, looks like uh, he'll have a chance to play if – I was him, I'd be like, nah, coach, I'm just going to hold this clipboard. You can't do that, though. You can't do that. You can't. If you're ready to play, you want to get out there and show this is what it would have been like if I was healthy and able to go out there and play. Uh, From that ninja, because of all this Kansas talk, I guess the mainstream has been talking about Charlie Strong all morning. Um, From 334 Bama Boy, Buster Ward to Michigan State coach for going for two. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, Coach D'Antoni is a D'Antoni or D'Antone. I always confuse his name with the basketball coach. But they go for two, you know, as opposed to tying up this game with Michigan this past weekend or with Ohio State this past weekend, and it comes back to bite them. They lose by one point. And I know what this past weekend there was a record for missed field goals in the NFL, but that's because they moved the kickback. So I just think that's in that scenario – And he gave this statement about how, you know, the teams down this year, they were at home. uh, They wanted to have a good win on their resume. They did it for the seniors and this, that, and the other. And you basically punched the seniors in the gut. Yeah, that wasn't the right move, man. That, That wasn't the right move at all. And Ohio State survives. But you can't wait to see the, uh, the rankings for this coming weekend coming up. Uh, but Ohio State survives the number two team right now in college football. When we get back from the break, man, all I'm going to do is read chat. That's all I'm going to do. You know what? Quickly, though, I may have a baller and a buster to give out. I want to talk about some significant injuries in the NFL on yesterday, and then we'll read some chat. We're definitely going to talk a little bit more college football, what happened this past weekend as well. A lot to do on Mondays around here. This is a Man Talk Monday. Don't go away. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Doug Stewart here to tell you about my man Smooth at SmoothTickets.com. Smooth's got the tickets for everything that you need in the world of sports, concerts, or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. My man Smooth at SmoothTickets.com. He got them tickets. I'm telling you. Boxing, baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip-hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you. SmoothTickets.com. Once again, that's Smooth. 
Tickets.com or give them a call at 404 374 1150. 